Let's create our expenses spreadsheet by opening a new worksheet and on sheet 1 select cell B4 and type in date. Now scroll to the right and in C4 enter expense type. In D4 type value and in E4 type in VAT or tax. Select box F4 and type in expense 1 and then copy, drag the contents of F4 across the spreadsheet to O4. And finally, in cell P4, type in Notes. In this section, we're going to create a drop-down box that allows you to select any one of the 10 expense types. Now, to do this, we need to create a list of our 10 expense types. Select cell R5 and type in the formula equals F4 and press enter. You will see that R4 now populates with the contents of cell F4. Now scroll down to R5 and enter G4 as the formula. Repeat this process all the way down to cell R4 so that you now have a vertical list of all of your expense types. Now, Highlight this range and from the formulas ribbon select the define name command and in the new name dialog box that opens simply enter expense types in the name box and click OK. By giving this list a name it makes it easy for Excel to know exactly what expense types refers to as we shall now see. Go to box C5 and from the data ribbon select the data validation command. Once opened, click on the drop down arrow in the allow box and from the drop down options select list. Move down to the source box and type in equals expense types and then click OK to complete. A drop down arrow appears to the right of cell, the right of cell C5 inviting you to select from its list of contents. Select box D5 and enter 120. And now select cell E5 and enter a formula that calculates the VAT or tax content of the gross value. For VAT at 20%, this equates to 1 6 of the gross value. So in E5, simply enter plus D5 divided by 6. We can now enter a formula in cell F5 to calculate the net value of this transaction. The formula is simply plus D5 minus E5. This is true because the expense type in cell C5 is the same as the expense type in cell F4, but it would not be true if C5 contain any other value apart from expense 1. We need an if statement to solve this problem. So in box F5, enter the formula equals if, open brackets, C5 equals F4, comma, then D5 minus E5, comma, then two inverted commas, and close the bracket. Now that we have the correct formula for the net value of the transaction, we need to lock it in place so that all the cell references are fixed. We can do this by reference to either the columns or the rows, or indeed both. The coordinates are locked by inserting a dollar sign in front of each component of the cell reference as follows. $C5 locks column C, but not the row. $F $4 locks both the column and the row. $D5 locks column D only, and $E5 locks column E only. Once the formula in F5 is locked, we can easily copy it across for all the other expense types. So click on cell F5 and drag copy the formula right up to cell O5. Now we're nearly done. However, 
If you select cell G5 and look closely at the formula, you will see that the second part of the formula referencing points to $F$4. We need this to read $G$4 so that the formula works when cell G5 equals cell G4. So let's quickly change the F for a G. And we repeat this process, substituting F for the relevant column reference right up to column O. Once this has been completed, we can now be confident that all the formulas on the first row of our expenses spreadsheet are correct. So, before we go any further, let's perform some tests. Navigate to cell C5 and select Expenses 2 from the drop-down box. Box F5 is now blank and box G5 is correctly populated. Repeat this process for the 10 expense types to validate all of the formulas. Let's format this transaction line. So starting with the date field in cell B5, right click on your mouse and select Format Cells. Select Date from the Category section and then accept the default Day Day, Month Month, Year 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 format and click OK. Now select cells D5 through to O5 and format these numbers to numbers with two decimal places and with the 1000 comma separators in place. Once the formatting has been completed, we simply select and copy down the entire transaction right down to row 14. OK, so we can now see how our expenses spreadsheet handles our data entry lines. But to complete the process, we need some totals. Select cell D16 and use the sum command to calculate the total of the value column and using the drag and copy routine, copy the formula from D16 through to O16. Now we can start to tidy up our work. Highlight the range B5 to D14 and clear the contents. Now highlight the range E5 to E15. From the home ribbon, select conditional formatting and from the highlight cell rules option, select equal to. In the dialog box, Enter the value 0, and from the drop-down box alongside, select the bottom option, Custom Format. Choose white from the colour palette, and click OK, and then OK again, and the black fonts change to white, and blend nicely into the background colour. In this last design section, we will add a title to our Business Expenses spreadsheet and then change the formatting so that we have a presentable completed template. Firstly, select the range B2 to H2 and from the Home ribbon select Merge and Center and then align this to the left. Now enter your title, make it bold and increase the font size. From the Page Layout ribbon Uncheck the View Gridlines box so that we have a clear, plain white background. Now let's format the title range B4 to P4 by selecting a background colour, a different font colour, making it bold, and then choose All Borders from the Border tool. Do the same for the Totals range D16 to O16. Now highlight the data range B4 to P14 and choose All Borders from the Borders tool. Adjust a couple of the column widths so that you can see the contents and finally change the font colour of the expense type list to white so that it blends into the background. And now we're done. In the last section we will enter some data and check that the formulas are all working correctly and that the formatting works successfully. Now that our expenses spreadsheet is complete, let's enter some data and check that all the various components are working. Starting on the first line, enter a date and then choose one of the expense types from the drop-down box in C5. 
We'll choose Expense 4, with a gross value of 360. The VAT, or the tax box, is automatically calculated, and the net value is shown correctly in the Expense 4 column. Now try the other lines and make sure that the results are all correct. Don't forget that you can change the expense type descriptions as follows. Select the expense type header cell 04 and overtype the contents with sundries. Now you will see that the sundries appears as the last item in the expense type drop down boxes. Indeed you can change the titles and expand the number of detailed lines by using the various techniques demonstrated in this video. We hope that you have enjoyed watching and that your expenses spreadsheet will be of valuable use. Thank you for watching our spreadsheet video. We hope that you enjoyed it and that there was lots of content that you found useful. Now, if you'd like us to send you a copy of the completed spreadsheet, then all we ask is that you subscribe to one of our channels. So you can like via the Mr. Spreadsheet Facebook page. You can follow on Instagram where it's at Mr. Spreadsheet or follow us on Twitter where it's at Mr. Underscore Spreadsheet. Oh, and yes, please do subscribe to our YouTube channel where there are many other spreadsheet solutions for you to watch. Now, if you're a small business, then why not watch our How to Keep Accounts in Excel video? It's a great inexpensive solution for your accounts and bookkeeping needs, and this will play automatically once this video ends. Many thanks for your attention.